folks, welcome to the Jake Feinberg Show. It's already been a cosmic day and uh, it continues here in Mount Washington, California. Dr. Patrick Leeson, welcome to the Jake Feinberg Show. Thank you. Glad to be here. You know, um, you and your wife went to see uh, Lenny White the other evening. Buster Williams. And Buster and, White, and, Buster and, yeah. and Lenny. And um, I wanted you to talk about what was refreshing about the... Um, what he was get with the vibe he was giving off that night with Buster in terms of generosity. You guys talked both about the givingness, yeah. his givingness yeah. as. Uh, so if you could talk about that. Well, both you know the whole group was really great. Um, it's a, it was a quartet, and um, I wasn't familiar with the piano player, but he was wonderful, and um, Buster <laughs> in a, in a. In a um, in a culture of, of people who are perpetually adolescent <laughs> until death, um, Buster is an adult. You know, he's fully um, in in his present, and because he's he's an enlightened person, I would say that, and. Um, but I'm 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 focusing on Lenny's rhythm. The, the, what, well, the, I'll, I'll get to you. It. Get okay. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. Yeah, we're, we're cooking here with the doctor. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> so. So. Buster comes from a, from a point of view, of gratitude. You know, I mean, he said, and I and I know I know the man, so I've known him for almost fifty years, and. Uh, what he said is really what he believes. He said, "I am in awe." Of jazz musicians. I mean, no, not thinking of himself, thinking about the people he's playing with, and so he, he being the leader, then it means that the group is in safe hands, you know, because this is a person who wants everybody to do their best and and to make the opportunity for people to do their best. Yeah, right. Now, Lenny, I, I Lenny and I go back. Actually, I think I, well, no, I think I, I, I met Lenny about three or four years after I left Herbie. And I produced Lenny's first album. What about on uh, Realization with Eddie Henderson? Because he was, he played double drums on that with Jabali. Yeah, 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 that, that too. Uh, I, I guess that was, that was probably before I did uh, the first album with, with Lenny. Yeah, he was not a leader at that point. No. Um, but, um, the thing about Lenny, yeah. he's a perfect partner for someone like Buster because Lenny is also extremely, as a player, he's extremely generous and what he's about is serving the music and, and as you know, the drummer, in a way, is a kind of a conductor. And if you have a bad conductor, the music gets screwed up really fast. <laughs> and if you have a good conductor, things go beautifully. Now, Lenny, to the extent that, the, 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 you know, this is the keeper of the rhythm. So, um, well, of course, Buster, too. But, but, but Lenny is so generous. I had some guy, this man I like, he's a good drummer. But he said to me, it's something I thought was just astonishing. He said, well, a lot of people think that Lenny White is a, um, is a lazy drummer. Right. And I thought... Lazy. 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 <laughs> lazy drummer. And I thought, good God, you know, what, what does that possibly mean? <laughs> it, means, it means that um, instead of... Dominating the proceedings, Lenny is servicing the time of the moments that we pass through in, in the composition. And he's waiting to see how he can help. So I saw him at many points start to hit a cymbal and then just wait to see if it were needed. And if it wasn't needed, he didn't do it, you know. And, and yet the guy's got marvelous time. I mean, he's got 